O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 19, NASDAQ up 8, SPs off 8, gold contract down $6.60, trading at $19.68 an ounce. We have silver down 21 cents, trading out at $23.65 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.18, $81.68 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading at one ten oh seven. The 30 year up. Uh, one more tick and it's two points, folks. Pretty amazing. Full point plus 31 ticks at 120.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 19 ticks, 102.571. The euro is at 109. The yen's at 142. And the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's see what we have out here. So you, you came down yesterday with volume, expanding, that is. Out here today, it's going to get intriguing coming into the close because what you have is this. Well, we have Apple and we have Amazon coming out with numbers, which is going to affect the market big time. You know, we'll see how the, the market... Right now, the S&Ps are going to go after the swing that we had about 30, 30 minutes ago. We'll see whether it can take it out. Um, and if we do, then we will go to those lows. Those lows have, have volume on them, the lows from this morning. That's the 4505. And right now, your uh, bottom line is that you're, you're 22 points above that area inside the S&P. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. Now, this is good. The NQs are going to hit it first, so we'll get an idea. Yeah, you one minute. Uh... So this is going to get interesting because we're going to start a new bar just about at the, that, uh, that price point. That's how this thing shakes out. Now, the NQs have not had an expansion of volume on this bar. You get price spread coming down, but there's not an expansion of volume yet. If you're looking at if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see it. It's been about just about the same, it, meaning the same up, the same down. You know, basically that sets up, but basically you know, a consolidation. But that being said, you can see down here. That's where all the volume is. In fact, if we go like this, you'll see, you know, it goes straight down like this. That's kind of how that works. Notes and bonds. Let's get over to the ten year because this is pretty intense, man. You know, the 10-year right now, we are at 4.18. You're coming into the last lows that were established out here. That number was 110.05. We've hit 110.05. We have 1 1.6 million contracts out here today. And the last time we were down here, we had 2.2. But what you haven't done is that you have not rejected lower price. And then if we go to the 10, the, the 30 year, this is pretty intense, man. The 30 year. That, look at that number, man. We're at 120.09. US1, put this in a generic one. We did this yesterday and when I was giving out that number yesterday, it seemed like a long way down. <laughs> but it's not when you go down two points per day. <laughs> that's, that's kind of how this is setting up right now. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's, it's a lot closer than it was yesterday, that's for sure. So the low in the third year is 117.19. And right now, the 30, the 10's at 4.8. 4.18 rather, the 30s at 4.3. And on the 30s, you want to check this out. Look at this. The 30 a year ago is 
Six months ago, it was 3.5. Three months ago, it was 3.6. You know, so no matter which way you look at this, the bottom line is that when you're at a 4.18 inside the 10-year, you know, these rates are going to basically, you know, go up further, which is pretty wild, man. I mean, the next Fed meeting, that's not until September. So if we take a look at the Fed meeting, let's see what date it is. Uh, meetings, meetings, meetings. Where are you? Calendar. Okay. So September, look at that, September 20th, too. You know, the market, the market itself, now this is just the opposite. The market is basically doing the work for the Fed, you know. That's what's going on here. And that's, that's what does happen, you know. And, you know, we'll see where that shakes out. But uh, with, the, with the market going, with the bond market going down that quick, meaning higher rates, you know, that's saying that they, the Fed wouldn't really have to do anything. Because everything is predicated, not everything, but... Uh, you know, we're talking about either mortgages or you're talking about um, credit cards. It's predicated on the 10, folks, okay? That's how it shakes out. We go over to the dollar, and this dollar, well, this dollar wants the, that higher swing point, man. That higher swing point inside the dollar. We are at 102.570. That swing is it's 103.500. You know, we're sitting right next to it right now. So that thing wants to get hit. We go to the gold market. Gold's just going, of course, the opposite way of the dollar. And we take a look at gold. Ah, it's not a bad setup today. This is good. Okay. You're at uh, only 133,000. So what's happened here is that you have the contraction of volume in a monster way. Now, it still hasn't held, held price. And the lowest swing on the gold market is uh, 1939. Right now... We're at 1967, you know. So bottom line is that I expect what we're going to see here is that, uh, you know, until that dollar, you know, finishes off what it wants to do, that's going to continue to keep pressure on this market. That's how this thing seems to be setting up. And, of course, the earnings inside Amazon and Apple are going to be a monster deal. There's no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down, six, down 67, NASDAQ's off 25, S&P's off 16. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood.